Are you ready? They are looking at the best. I am World League Wrestling. Wrestling fans, welcome back to another exciting edition of World League Wrestling Showdown. I'm Sarge Phillips. And I'm Marty Kadish. And tonight we're going to have a lot of great World League Wrestling action with young and up and coming Billy the Kid taking on a debuting AJ Kazana. And both men, yes, looking for their first WLW win here. And then also in the main event, we have Dysfunction taking on technical difficulties in the Tag Team Championship Finals. That's going to be a great match and a lot of great action tonight. So it, I think it's time to shut up and wrestle. Zero. Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to World League Wrestling Showdown. I am Sarge Phillips, along with my broadcasting partner, Martin Kadich. And it's great to be here, Sarge. We're opening up with Billy the Kid again. He's going against uh, going against a tough combatant. He's not a World League Wrestling star, but he is definitely a tough, strong man. I've seen him wrestle in the ring many times, and Billy's got his work cut out for him here. And that would be AJ Kazana. Billy the Kid here looking to get his first win still here in World League Wrestling. That's right. We know he's he's a really excited young man to be up in that ring. He's a competitor. He's tough as nails coming straight out of the box, you know, with, with some great matches against some long-standing WLW favorites. And now here he is still looking for his first win against AJ. And his opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing 292 pounds. Tonight, he makes his World League Wrestling debut. He is the one true heavyweight, AJ Kazana. Waiting on the emergence of AJ Kazana to come through those curtains. Billy the Kid, not a whole lot of ring gear to get rid of there. He's just got that shirt on and comes out here to fight, you know. He likes to get out there in the swamps and wrestle alligators, he says, so this shouldn't be too much of a change for him. And the referee for this match, Elaney Harley. Right here at the Race Wrestling Arena. Don't forget, fans, to check out WLW social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And you can always catch WLW Showdown right here on YouTube at, at 6 o'clock on Thursdays. That is correct. And here comes AJ Kazan getting in this ring. And he is a big guy right there. I mean... He looks like he makes about two of Billy. I think Billy's gonna have his work really cut out for him here, like I said earlier. Gonna have to agree with you on this one. He's gonna have to pull out all the stops to get the win, his first win here in World League Wrestling. And the one true heavyweight having, having no shortage of, of naysayers out there in the crowd right now. He's going back and forth with them, arguing with the referee too. to get this match underway. Looks like he's going to be a handful there for Elaney and Billy. There's the bell. On, Billy. Billy the Kid getting the crowd going right off the get-go here. Here's the first tie-up right in the middle of the ring as AJ pushes him back to the turnbuckle here. He's definitely got the power advantage here in this situation. A clean break. Right back into a tie-up, Billy goes. You see, Billy, Billy's got a lot of gumption there. He uh, pushed him a little bit, but right back into that corner he goes. Let's see if we get a clean break this time. We do. Oh, 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 oh. Slap to the face, and a little slap to the face. Billy bit does of, not take kindly to that. He does not like being disrespected, and that's exactly what that was. A clothesline from Billy into the corner there on AJ Kazan. 
It looks like he looks like he's got Billy tied up in that corner there. Pushes him right off. Now telling the referee he's pulling my hair. Trying to trying to play them rules for his own advantage as they lock up again. Billy reversing it. I don't think he's gonna pick the big man up though. Good. Wrist lock there. Flipping eight or Billy over. Down onto the mat. Pounding down on that shoulder. It's working him over there. Oh, now, and then up from the underside there. Kind of an uppercut there. Billy looking to try and get to the ropes here. It's got to be a painful situation there. With his arm twisted up and getting beat on. And Billy trying to fight his way out of this hold as AJ's got him locked in. And there, there he is. He gets to the ropes. There's a little flip. Still trying to get out. There he goes. Now he's got one of his own. Sends him into the turnbuckle, and here he comes with another clothesline. Big splash right there, and he's he's got he's got AJ, the one true heavyweight, reeling right now. He's got the momentum right now. He keeps shoving Billy off, but Billy, being being the relentless competitor that he is, just goes right back in that corner. Shoulder block after forearm. This clothesline. We'll be right back, folks, with the. More action from this match right after these matches. Oh, he slammed him there. fans is this match between AJ Kazan and Billy the Kid still ongoing and a big slam from AJ on Billy here. Yeah, it's been all AJ Kazana through this break. He's just been you know, he's he's had an answer for Billy. Billy started out strong trying to put that offense on Sarge, but he just he just it seemed like AJ just kept shoving him off and shoving him off until he got his break and now he's got Billy right where he wants him. Got him in a single leg Boston crab here. Billy trying to get to those ropes. Fans urging him on. That never say die attitude of these young lions. Billy crawling towards the crawling towards the ropes, refusing to give up. And he and gets there. There he goes. He's reached him now. He has to break that hold. And you can see the one true heavyweight not too happy about having to release that hold. Right back to Billy here. Looks like he's gonna go for a suplex here. He gets oh, 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 Billy oh, turns he... it around into a roll. Four two count. B Ever feisty Billy squiggles his way out of that and turns it into a roll up, almost for a pin. Drop kick sends AJ into the into the ropes there. And Billy's feeling it right now. You see him closing in. He's putting, his stomach. putting that offense in, but he needs to get him out of that corner. Looks like that's what he's about to do to send him over to that other corner, but AJ reverses it. The running clothesline. Oh. Smash here. I'll tell you, man, that's that's got to be deflating right there. He, he was he was mounting some offense, but went for that, went for that whip into the buckle, and he's just too big to get him around. But now Billy with the kick. Had him up there on that top rope. Oh, oh, cross body from the top rope here. He could have him here, Sarge. Oh, two count. Two count only on this one. 
He's got to dig down deeper. He's got to jump on that man and beat him down right now. The big elbow to the back of the head. Billy the Kid looking for his first win here in WLW. Sunset flip. Trying. Oh, AJ sma smashes down, but only hits the, the canvas here. Running drop kick from Billy the Kid. Going for that cover now. Pretty close to those ropes. And he's all up in them ropes right now, Sarge. He's in no way, shape, or form letting Billy get a pin on him right here. And you can see it's kind of getting inside the young man's head. As 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 Kazanza gets back up, he's standing. Billy, how are you going to chop this guy down? Sarge, what's he going to do next? He's sending him across those ropes, and AJ again reverses, misses the... Arms. Oh, got him up into a side slam and hits it. That Going could be that it. Cover now. One, two. Oh, Billy kicks out. Every time he gets a pinfall on Billy right now, he, he gets a little closer to that elusive three count. But you can see the frustration welling in AJ, AJ's face too right now. They're, neither man is able to put the other away. AJ Gazana going after that leg still. Picking up both legs here. What's he going to do here? Well, he oh. tries for a Boston Crab, but Billy rolls him up. Two, three. Oh, three. Billy just got his first win at yes. WLW, Sarge. Yes, he did. Nine minutes, 15 seconds. Quick roll up there. Well, folks, we will be back with more action here on Showdown. Well, I'm telling you, Billy really stole one right there. Hey guys, Tommaso Ciampa here, one half of DIY, part of NXT. Just want to say from the bottom of my heart how grateful and thankful I am for Harley Race. 2008, I trained for an entire year down at WLW at the Harley Race Wrestling Academy. If you're looking to get into this business, you're looking for a start, there is nobody with a better profile and portfolio than Mr. Harley Race. He will help guide you, he will tell you what the right way is, and if I can be any proof of it, the man knows what he's doing and he will get you all the way to the top. You will achieve your dreams. So thank you, Mr. Race. Thank you, everybody who's listening. Hope you guys uh, have just as much success and enjoyment in your path in pro wrestling as I have. Welcome back, folks, as we are back here on Showdown. We are going to have a semifinal in the Tag Team Championship Tournament between Technical Difficulties, the Deliverer of Moses, Raheem De La Suede, going up against Dysfunction, Brandon Espinoza, and the Iron Bear, Tom Coffey. Man, I'm going to tell you what, Dysfunction, that's a, that's a pretty mean team right there. I, I, I worry about Moses and Raheem De La Suede just because Raheem tends to take things a little less than serious. And this dysfunction team rolled, were just rolling through this tag team tournament so far. As he sends Moses backwards into the corner. Tom Coffey taking a few seconds there to feel happy about what he did, getting the better of Moses there. But Moses, the world champion, not one to let it, just let it lie. And he's definitely not one to stand around when he could be wrestling. Deliverer Moses wants to test the strength of the Iron Bear here. Not sure if that's a smart move here, Martin. I, I don't know. Moses is extremely strong for his size. I mean, he's one of the stronger guys in the division. But Coffee's just humongous. I mean... We're going to find out how he does here in just a few moments. Oh, switch around here. Smart move by, Mark, or by, by Moses there. Into a head block. And everything, every every bit of what Moses does comes from that headlock with the Bulldogs and the DDTs. It all starts with working that head right there like that. Back shots from the Iron Bear here, trying to get himself loose, and now sends him off into the corner. Shoulder block into the Deliverer, sends him down to the mat. Now sending him over into his corner. He just... Just grinding that shoulder into the midsection of Moses, wearing him down. Over and over again. Tag from Brandon. Moses, 
Don't forget, folks, the next live event, May the 14th, Rival Riot Rumble 2, 15-man over-the-top battle royal, where the winner will get a shot at the heavyweight champion, which is right now the Deliverer Moses. Raheem there with the moon standing moonsault. As he gives a big forearm to Brandon Espinosa and puts him into the technical difficulties corner. And there's a tag, and you see they're working together really well right now. And pretty decently. If they can keep control of a match like this and cut that ring in half, they're going to be able to walk away with a victory and a chance at them tag team titles. Whoever wins this match will face high level enterprises in the finals for these tag team championships. Chop there in the corner and tag their hand now. And Moses and Raheem keeping themselves fresh. A little bit of little bit of partnership there working together on Espinoza. Another tag. Quick tags back and forth here. Nice double drop kick here. A really Goes good tag team cover. work. Really good tag team work from technical difficulties here. And they've got Espinoza reeling. Gets that two count. Wearing him down now with the rear chin lock here. Right in the middle of the ring. He's slowing the pace a little bit. And putting a lock on that neck. Working that neck for them bulldogs to come. I'm telling you, Moses is always going somewhere. He's got a plan. Chop to Brandon with another tag here. Looks like another double team move coming up. Sends him back into the ropes. Double drop toe hold. Moses picks up Raheem, slams him down leg first on the back of, of Espinosa's head. Big assisted leg drop there is De La Suede again with Espinosa in the corner, cutting him off in his partner. Little flip from Raheem De La Suede as he charges into the ring now and a shoulder block into the stomach of Brandon Espinosa. And I'll tell you, Raheem De La Suede, he likes to be flashy in that ring, but he is effective too. Oh, look out, Iron Bear trying to get involved. Takes Raheem down to the mat there. He had a handful of hair too. And Espinosa oh, able to get that tag. It didn't look like he actually tapped. It looked like he just clapped his hands with the referee's back turn at Moses there. Raheem trying to fight back. Oh, big right hand from the Iron Bear. He was just flattening out Davis Swade there. And I believe he, I believe Tom Coffey just yelled, join us as he tagged Espinosa. Brings in Brandon, and we will be back with more action from this tag team championship semifinal match. Right after these messages. Welcome back, fans, as this tag team match continues on. Moses getting a quick roll up on the Iron Bear, but he comes back with a hard clothesline. I'll tell you, that drop, Moses. Quick, he, Moses had everything going in his favor throughout the break, but right there, that one clothesline from the Iron Bear. <laughs> and again, the winner of this tag team semifinal match will move on to the finals for the Tag Team Championships and will face high-level enterprises. It's John Webb and Jack Gamble. And I'm gonna tell you, whichever one of these two teams that does advance, that's gonna be an explosive match. Moses 
fighting it back, but Iron Bear able to catch him. Now his chance right here to get that tag, and Brandon Espinoza pulls down Raheem De La Suede off the apron. That savvy of Espinoza there, he runs around the outside of the ring and takes away the chance for Moses to tag back out. But it looks like Espinoza's getting a free trip back into the ring. Oh, big forearm from Moses there. Oh, and then a clothesline from the Iron Bear as Moses turns around. Espinoza distracted Moses just enough for Tom Coffey to get to his feet and, and hit him from behind. And now Tom Coffey, the Iron Bear, in full control of this match. Right hand down onto the top of the head of Moses. Coffee showboating at the fans a little bit, comes rushing across and misses the move there. He just took a little bit too long there, walking around the ring looking at the fans. And now we got both competitors on the on the mat. Moses able to hit that belly to back suplex. He's he reaching out, up, urging Tom Coffee on to tag him. Moses crawling to the other side, Sarge. Who's going to get there first? It looks like possibly dysfunction here. Maybe he's the closest one to the corner. And here he does get the tag, but Moses still gets that tag. Her hand goes to the top rope. Comes down with a double axe handle on top of Espinoza. Raheem De La Suede definitely on the side of the ring longer, and he's got an axe to grind with Espinoza right now. As Espinoza pulled him off away from the tag earlier. And a big drop and a slap to the jaw. Oh, cold, cold, or a cold breaker there to the back. Don't forget, folks, next live event here at the Race Wrestling Arena will be the Rival Riot Rumble 2, 15 men over the top battle royal. Winner will get a shot at the heavyweight championship. And as always, you can catch World League Wrestling Showdown every Thursday night on YouTube. Looks like a double team coming up from technical difficulties as the referee's got a back turn. That was a huge DDT. <laughs> Espinoza, the there's a big cover there. Oh, and then Espinoza able to get his shoulder up just in the nick of time. Now, uh, Tom Coffey had Elaney Harley distracted over in the corner, and she was late getting to that pin, so he might have saved his partner there. You see him tapping his tapping the side of his head. You know he's no dummy. Now Raheem taking his singlet down, looking like he's gonna be serious here for a moment. Well, they've they've tried too many too many Where antics is against Moses technical going? difficulties. Going off to the side here. Oh, it's superstar Steve with Moses' belt. Now, I don't know about you, but if somebody was messing with my world title, I think I'd pay attention to uh, it too. Oh, in the ring, it's a dose of reality from Dysfunction. And there's the three count. Dysfunction's gonna move on to face high-level enterprises. At 13 minutes, the distraction costs seconds. technical difficulties. What a shock, though. I mean, you, you go away from the ring with Moses, Superstar Steve, messing with the world title belt, maybe walking off with it, trying to walk off with it. It leaves Raheem De La Suede alone with dysfunction. And going up against dysfunction two on one like that, there's no way. Well, those, those are the kind of numbers dysfunction likes. Absolutely. As the referee raises the hands of dysfunction, and again, they move on to the finals to face high level enterprises. You see Raheem De La Suede sitting there wondering what just happened. And the frustration on Moses knowing that he got pulled away and let himself get distracted from this important match. Well, again, John Webb, Jack Gamble, high level enterprise, knows who they're going to be facing in the finals now, Martin. That's right. And you can see they're really happy about the work they've done in the ring tonight, walking away with that victory. But in the ring, Again. you can see Espinoza and Tom Coffey cause dysfunction here as 
Raheem's not wanting nothing to do with Moses. I, I, I can't say that I blame him here. He needed his partner right there, and again, he's off dealing with Superstar Steve. Well, you know, Moses is extremely protective of that world heavyweight title, just as I think De La Suede would be of that junior heavyweight title. You know, hopefully, hopefully they can get this worked out and get it back together. Moses looking for a handshake here. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Join us next week, and we will see you then.